back today with another tutorial guide for you guys today and this is how to upgrade the staff of lightning or the lightning staff comments bite whatever you want to call it it is going to be the tutorial guide on how to upgrade it today but guys before we get into the video please smash like and subscribe due to this is going to take me a while yesterday the win one I did make took me close to two hours to edit it and tailor it just for you guys so it can be clearly understood for you guys so what you're firstly going to gonna do is you're going to want to have the staff of lightning up crafted which there will be a link in the description and I am going to recommend a few things before starting this upgrade process is going to be the Maxis drone, the shield, and that's probably it, which will both be linked in the description. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's begin the guide. And also, guys, the screenshot should be popping up on the screen around now. That my friend Them Empty Buckets sent awesome guy. Please go subscribe to him. He sent me this a few weeks ago or something like that when I could not do these so please go subscribe awesome guy and the screenshot is saying right now is I don't know if you guys can see it but you probably will be able to but it's going to say the code here and look at only lightning today I did put that with wind yesterday to only look at the wind staff only look at lightning today in this video only look at lightning don't focus on wind or fire yet those will be next week probably I will show you those so what you're gonna to want to do is you're, there's going to be what's called the piano code so like I said yesterday there is always a crazy step a crazy place step and a real world step so for the crazy place step you are going to want to shoot these little teeth looking jagger things right here and the first code you're gonna enter is one three and then you're gonna to want to shoot six and the lightning should disappear on its own you shouldn't have to reshoot it that's one thing I do want to clarify three five seven they're just mauling the shit out of my shield here but they should disappear on its own two four six so it's one three six two four or three five seven and two four six and then you should hear this orb just fly away off into the never never land all right so once you have done that step and with the orb there is another world world step now i usually do these you can do these to this step from spawn but i figured i would show you guys the order in the video either way because it can be complicated doing it in the order but the order is going to be i will show you guys what you have to do now so there's going to be these five or six or seven little boxes around the map. They're dials, but I just always call them boxes. Starting at spawn, which I'm going to head there now. And I, I did not, I left them all alone in this game so you guys can see. And there's also a workshop one. Leave workshop alone. Just leave it alone. So I'm going to go show you guys spawn, then tank station where Gen 2 is at. And then I will just show you all of them because I know that. And a lot of people do mix these up and turn them into a different like well they basically just like turn them the wrong way and there's a lot of misconception on it so for spawn guys you're going to want to turn it left so like that it should be facing towards this pole right here if you want to see it it should be facing right that way that's where the first one should be facing and then coming over to generator 2 or tank station whatever you prefer to call this one I just always call it generator 2 by the way so it's all good but um then the next part you're going to want to do is this one is going to be down some people believe that is down but no this is down it should be facing towards the floor right there no it should not be facing up it should be facing towards the floor all right so once you have those two done i will show you the rest and this one may take 10 12 minutes due to the fact that i am showing you guys all of these locations just because I want to help you guys out. So don't touch that one. That one's perfectly fine the way it is. Ignore it. Always ignore workshop. So then come over to generator four. Come over to generator four. And the orb should be floating in the sky somewhere. I cannot see it right now. but And this one is going to be up. And some people think that's up. This is up. It should be facing towards the sky. That's up by the way. I know a lot of YouTubers believe, and I've, I came into gameplay with a lot of people that have that have put them the other way, that it, and that is just, it's not correct, and you will get it wrong. So, it will, it, will, it will not register. So, this one, some people think that's up. This is up, so it, be, it should be facing that way. Then there is one over at a Generator 5, but the giant robot that is going to come this way is going to mess this up, so robot intermission all right let's go so basically then come over here to generator five this one should be down
facing the four like that. And they will be sparking too, so when they don't spark, then you'll know you have it correct. There is no particular order you have to do these in. If you can get yourself, you know, good with this, you know, setup, you can do this right from spawn. Then the final two are in the church, because why not? Why not put them over in the church, guys? So then the final two are going to be in the church over here, so come on over here to church. There's going to be one over here by the tank. And this one is sparking, so facing the right. So it should be facing three, basically. Just letting you guys know that it should... I'm just, you know, digging up my shield parts right now. And then there's an upstairs church, which is upstairs church up, which I'll end you. I heard the pachow or pachu, which means that was done correctly. That stuff was done right. I am going to tell you a little secret, guys, and this is how I always remember it. I got this little algorithm into my head here, and this is how I always remember it. I remember it. Spawn left, gen four up. Upstairs church up, downstairs church right. Gen 5 down, mound wall up, and tank station down. But that's how I always remember my how the little algorithm on how to do it. So now guys, now that that is done, and there's also the screenshot, we'll show you the generators too and how they should be facing, just FYI. You can pause this at any time and look at that if you have to, that's perfectly fine. But now, now for the final step in the upgrade process is going to be to turn these little dials here, which... They should all be facing purple this time yeah, because we are doing the lightning staff. So they should all be facing purple. And once you have these, so just also guys, a little clarification. Press square when you're standing here. That's all you have to press. And then go over here. And here's another little glitch. If you jump and press square, you can hit it. But if you are more comfortable with running around and around and jumping across and doing it that way, that's the way I prefer to do it. That's just a trick that I like to do, but if you're not that experienced with the map, I would recommend just to run over here, do the extra work, and do this. So once you have that done, there should be a purple orb this time, like we had the, or the yellow one last time. So shoot the purple orb, and you should hear it you once more. There you go. Now for the final step, which is going to always be the same, and those will turn back, no, signifying you've done this correctly, which there's no need for that one anymore. But um, so the final one is going to be placing your staff in its pedestal and charging it with zombie souls, just like on Isandraka with the bow. So that is going to be the final step. So come back to lightning or wherever your gramophone is placed. I just kept it a lightning because that's where I was going to be working the entire game. Because after this, guys, I'm not even going to play the map through. I'm just playing this to help you guys out with the tutorial. So run over here. Slide across the mud. And then lightning, as you can see right there. Which there will, all, all, there will be a black disc and gramophone guide in the description. A lightning staff guide. And the maxis and the shield guide will both be in the description for you guys. Just letting you guys know. So once you get down here, this should open up. Place it in, and you are ready to go. And then just kill zombies. Like I said, you know, I'm going to clarify this again. Just because, you know, if, you're watch if you did not watch the wind guide, which I highly recommend you do. But if you did not, um, you don't want to, you can kill zombies anywhere in, here, in this room. Does not matter. If you like to stand here and get your kills, awesome. But if you like to, if you like to run around the map, or run around and explore this place and you know not get trapped but if you want to explore this place then absolutely but if you just want to stand here and get your kills because you're most comfortable go right ahead but if you do have multiple staffs in the pedestals at one time you will have to stand next to the staffs also something i wanted to clarify i forgot to clarify with you guys the zombie has taken a long time all right so also, I do recommend another staff while upgrading a staff and with this pedestal, especially on the higher rounds if you're trying to do this, I recommend lightning or ice already upgraded and done. And like I told you, this part can take, you know, five to six minutes, you know, however long you want it to take, basically. Because of the round, it's the round, it all depends on your guys' round, how long this is taking you. And I don't expect you guys to have a pack of punch your weapon on round four, like, you know, that's another thing, like, you might say, oh, do you need to pack a punch weapon? You do not. I figured I would do it since I had the gobble gum to get the MP40 and pack it. I figured I might as well and have it just as a little extra protection for me. But otherwise, you do not need to have this. You just need a basic gun that will kill zombies. A KR, that's why I brought the KRM, by the way, guys, so you would know that. But KRM, the 
MP40 packed. I mean, it doesn't really matter what gun you have. It just matters if you are able to get a kill with it. That's all that matters. I do not recommend a Boom Hilda, though, guys. I do not recommend that. That's the thing I do not recommend. Also, guys, like I told you yesterday, you know, do not pick up nukes because you want all the zombie kills you can possibly have on this round. And as you can see, it's going to take me till round five to upgrade this actually fully. But yeah, guys, um, another thing I do want to clarify, you do not need any gobble gun. Like, I brought Perkaholic and Shopping Free and stuff like that. You do not have to bring those due to the fact that, you know, you can do that. If you're doing this casual, I'm not doing this casual. I'm doing this. I'm basically cheating at this so I can do this tutorial for you. And now once you have it upgraded, go ahead and pick up your Kaiman's Bite, which is going to be your upgraded staff. Um, also unlocked with a new melee attack that lasts till round 17. And... The um, SV, as I called it yesterday in the wind, the Sacramets Vagor or whatever, and this will not kill zombies for proof. Will kill one zombie and will not kill multiple. So that is the one thing. It's mainly meant to revive players, so do keep that in mind when you are playing Origins. Do not try to pull that out and not cool and kill zombies because you will fail miserably, especially on a round 20 or around 30. You will definitely fail the entire game, and then all your teammates are going to get this off. So, yeah, just be very, very careful, and especially with the melee. I know you're so used to it after round 17, but, you know, do not. Just be very, very careful with your new melee attack and how you are doing this. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy this tutorial today. Um, Please leave a like and subscribe. I did have to do a lot of editing to this, and I will be because it's, you know, I'm recording it right now. I haven't started editing it yet. But I will be editing it, you know, so please do subscribe to my channel and please leave a like because of the time that was taken to, you know, go into this yesterday for my wind. It did take me over two hours to edit the entire video, and I really would appreciate, you know, a like on this video. So thank you guys very, very much for coming by today if you have and watching my video um leave a like guys subscribe peace out bye have a good day